how you make a cylinder. Make sure your glue can breathe by squeezing it and then that there's no glue on the top. Put a line of glue, not too much, on one side, fold it in on itself, and stick your fingers on the inside and clamp. Now, glue takes some time to do its job, so hold it or use pinchy clips. Like that. Make a cone. Take your scissors and cut from the corner to the center. And when you do that, you get two walking legs and then you can fold them in on themselves to create the cone. Now if you want a flat cone, or like an obtuse cone, you make it kind of loose. If you want an acute cone, pull it in tighter, and you can see it's now it's more narrow. Now if you want this to be held this way, go ahead and put a little glue here and a little glue here. All right, and then hold it down, or get a clip to hold it down. Now if you want to glue this in, you might want to fold the edges under so that you have a tab to glue it on. And so you can put glue on these tabs and then glue it down like that. to create uh, crimps. So I'm gonna fold it, fold it back. And so that's an easy way to add a little texture for seaweed. And I would just put a little glue here and let it stand up. A seaweed that was curly, I could take a strip and a pencil and I could wrap it around the pencil like this and then I've got a nice curly tab, um, seaweed too and I just create a tab by folding it and then I can glue it on. to do this or just taking my pencil and doing that can make it curl. Oops, tore that off. All right, so that could be a nice like seaweed or you could fold it in on itself and make a cool funky looking ocean lake thing and you would just glue it right there.